What's going on? Today we're going to talk about one drop testing kit. Let's do this. What's going on everybody? I'm Andres Blibesh. This is T1E Type 1 Experience, Episode 3, Season 2. Um, Merry Christmas and um, Happy New Year in the upcoming, in the upcoming days. Um, so yeah, today I wanted to talk about something I've been going through for the last, um, I want to say, month or so, where my clinic and my, my medical supplier just kind of aren't communicating with each other that well. So I've pretty much had to deal with getting stuff delivered like two weeks late. So my pump supplies came two weeks late. And currently I'm still waiting for my, um, my, my, my sugar testing kit um, refill. Um, I haven't gotten test strips back um, for, for two weeks. They're late. So the issue right now that, that I'm having to deal with them is I'm, like I went to CVS and I, I, I bought like a generic CVS meter testing kit, which was okay. Like it wasn't great. Um, I had an issue where it failed, where 10 strips failed 10 in a row, um, like over and over again. And I thought the meter was broken. So those, the $25 kits um, are the cheaper option, but they do fail sometimes. And, and they are, I, I would say, less reliable. There's also not a charging port, so you can't charge it back up. Um, so it's not in my favor. Um, so it, it forced me to kind of just go on Amazon and, and check out what I could get, you know, at, you know, in bulk, if I just, you know, selected a large quantity of test strips and found a good meter. Um, and I stumbled upon this thing called one drop and one drop is like, I don't know. It, it, I found it on the Apple website first and I thought like, oh, it's just a gimmick. It's just like really well branded. And that's probably true, I guess. Like it seems well branded. Um, but one test strip box would charge exactly $20 for a refill. So I thought if the insurance policy ever messes up on me again and I have to buy my own test strips, why not just buy them on like on a on a place like Amazon, and um, hopefully the prices won't change. But when I do buy them for right now at nineteen dollars a for one box, I could just get you know just order a bunch of them. Let's open up this box. Okay, so. Let's get on with unboxing this thing. Whoa. You get this little uh, one drop, like little meter. This looks like the meter. It looks like we have a little pouch and this is honestly looks like this was a selling point for me when I was when I was getting it was this pouch that just fits in your jacket or something um, you have a poker and so we have our lancets right there and it comes with 25 uh, test strips so it should sit like this when it's in your bag. Um, so it's basically just prompting me to put it in there. So then you just... Oh, we have something. Okay. It worked to a certain degree. So I'm just going to put this back on. So it's going to blink a few times. Whoa, 308, look at me. Okay, so I have something to, to show everybody after seeing this. So retail, I paid for this, um, I think was 
$69.99 with $20 for the extra um, testing strips. So let me show you what I bought last week from CVS. I'm back. So what I bought from CVS about a week, two weeks ago, since my my insurance or my suppliers have been failing me, was this little guy. This is CVS, and this is one drop endorsed by Apple. Okay, they are the same exact quality, the same build. They feel like the same exact material. Um, which is not as heavy as you'd expect. Um, they look pretty similar in, in design, I guess. Um, and both have, you know, Bluetooth qualities that, you know, you see on the back, they, they look at, they pretty much source the same thing. So there really, there really isn't much difference. Um, as far as uh, functionality, I have not had the time to uh, test the one drop, obviously because I just unboxed it. I'm really not as satisfied with the one drop testing kit as I thought I'd be. I had this idea that it was gonna like, you know, be super heavy, but I get the sense that these are pretty cheaply made. They're just marketed really well. And um, I think that's the end of the story. I kind of feel like this, based on the CVS model and the one drop model, that it's kind of gonna be very similar, but you know, we'll, we'll find out. Let's do the final review of everything. I guess the final verdict is before you buy one drop go to your local pharmacy see what they have because that's going to be the most accessible option for you anyways um, compare prices and make the decision from there um, for me it makes more sense to buy CVS brand because the replacements for the test trips which come in packs of 50 are $25 Whereas if I ordered one drop, I would get replacements that costed $20 and only came in packs of $25. Um, so the, the, the decision is kind of obvious, like obviously go with the generic in my case. Um, so that's all I have for you guys this week. Um, make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and... Uh... Hit that like button if you like this video, smash it. Oh! If that's something that you're into, 2018 style. Nah, I can't copy them like that. All right. Have a good week, guys. See you later.